Hello, welcome to Storytime with Judy. Our book today is The Most Perfect Snowman by Chris Britt. Well, this snowman was built, but he wasn't given some of the things that a lot of the other snowmen have, like a scarf and mittens and a hat and a nose. But some children come along and they give him those things. But let's see what happens when he runs into a bunny that is very cold. It's a story of kindness, and let's get to it. Drift was the loneliest of snowmen. Made from the first blustery snow of winter, he had been built fast and then forgotten. With only two skinny stick arms and a small mouth and eyes made of coal, Drift dreamed of wearing a stylish hat, scarf, and mittens just like the other snowmen. Most of all, he dreamed of having a pointy orange carrot nose. If only I had that, I'd be perfect, he thought. All the other snowmen were much fancier than Drift and would giggle at him with frosty glee. Nice nose, love your style, sassy out, snazzy outfit. Dressed in their finery, they would have snowy fashion parades, snowball fights, and snowman dances that lasted all night but Drift was never included. So he spent his days alone, swishing and sliding through the wintry woods, often stopping in the shadows to watch the others laugh and play. One morning, three bundled up children walked by. What a plain looking snowman, said one little girl. You need a hat. Here, take mine. The hat was blue, fluffy, and toasty warm. It fit perfectly. And you can have my mittens, said the little boy. They were so snugly. Drift raised his arms in the air and smiled. The last little girl turned to Drift. Why don't you take my scarf? It felt soft and cozy as she placed it around his neck. She looked at him for a moment. Hmm, you're still missing something. Then reaching into her coat pocket, she pulled out the most pointy orange carrot nose that Drift had ever seen. She squashed it into place. Now you're the perfect snowman. The other snowmen watched in astonishment. All afternoon, Drift played with the children. He had never been so happy. But soon, dark clouds rolled in and his new friends turned to walk home. Drift thanked them and waved goodbye. That night, a terrible blizzard began to blow. Icy snowflakes ripped at Drift's new hat and mittens and tossed them into the air. Oh no, Drift gasped. He set out to walk, search for his missing clothes. He looked up into the trees and down the stream, over hills and under bushes, but they were gone. Oh well, Drift sighed, at least I still have my beautiful new scarf and nose. Then through the howling wind, Drift heard a whispered soft voice. I'm lost, can you help me please? It was a tiny bunny. It looked frightened and shivery cold. The bunny needed a safe place to survive the night, but there was no shelter to be found. Drift took off his scarf and wrapped it gently around the bunny. There, now you'll stay warm. That's when he heard a faint growl. It was the bunny's tummy. Drift stared into the frosty night. He knew what he had to do. He reached up, removed his last remaining gift, and gave his new friend something to eat. And became the most perfect snowman of all. Well, sometimes we have to remember that when we get something, somebody else can use it too, right? So he shared all his scarf and his carrot with the bunny because they were gifts to him. I hope you enjoyed the story and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you again tomorrow.